This Primavera P6 tutorial demonstrates the use of resource curves, enabling you to control the allocation of a resource and cost on an activity. You can assign a resource curve to any resource or role assignment on activities that have a duration type of fixed duration and units per time, or fixed duration and units. So if I select an activity BA1010, and I go to the General tab in Activity Details, I can view or assign the duration type. So if I click on the drop-down list for duration type, in order to use a, a resource curve, the duration type needs to be fixed duration and units, or fixed duration and units per time. Resource usage and costs are distributed evenly or linearly during an activity unless you specify nonlinear distribution using curves. So if I click my resource tab for activity BA1010, I can see that Mike Hall has been assigned as a resource to work on this activity. The duration of the activity is 10 days. If I view my resource usage profile for Mike Hall, I can see by looking at the profile that his time is in fact distributed linearly or evenly over the duration of that activity. I'm going to go back to my activity details. Before I change or assign a curve to that assignment, I'm going to review the curves themselves. Resource curves are set up and modified from the Enterprise menu. I can scroll down and look at resource curves. When you get to the Curves dialog box, you'll see that there are 12 default curves that come with the software. You cannot edit those, you cannot modify them. You can, however, have global curves, which are available to all resource assignments and can be modified. If I select the backloaded curve and click Modify, I can view or edit how the resource assignment will be distributed. So I can see with the backloaded curve that most of the resource distribution will occur towards the end of the duration of the activity, and I can actually see the percentages that would be uh, applicable. If I come down to my call now and access the curves and assign the backloaded curve to that resource assignment, I'll now look at my resource usage profile after assigning the curve, and I can see how the profile has changed. So not only are the units prorated in this way based on the backloaded curve that I selected, but the costs would be prorated in that way as well. So once again, the resource curves are utilized to assist you in distributing resource usage and costs in a nonlinear way over the course or over the duration of the activity. Thank you. Hope this helps.